because he just beat them. I wow. Think, yeah, not too great, huh? <laughs> and they're upset about it. That's not nice. Wow. That's poor. Yeah. That's poor. We had a we had a little birthday party down at the pub. <laughs> he wasn't too happy about me taking primary there, mate. Uh, yeah, you, like I said, this is the outer circle, so this is. This is ground zero for the lycra route right. crowd, you know. So okay. You, so you do occasionally get angry drivers coming through here with, yeah. you know, bone to pick. I know this uh, corner. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you might I know this, this one. one. I filmed it before, but <laughs> not mentioning anything about that today. How have you found the new the new updates to the highway code, Travis? Do you think people have given you uh, <laughs> enough room? Do you think people have got better or has it not changed? Uh, that lady was uh, taking some photos of us there. Was she? Yeah. See, you're famous, um, mate. I oh, well. I haven't noticed much difference with the highway code. The main thing really is... Uh... Sorry. You're all right, mate. Go ahead, go right ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nice job, Travis. Well done, mate. You never know. <laughs> no, you're right. He just hadn't seen you. Yeah. What were we talking about before um, we this... came out as well? Have they seen me? Yeah. Perfect, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's also, I often debate, like I have the bell on here. Yes. But I've found in the past that yelling tends to work better. Yes, I of, agree. It's kind of aggressive, you know? I agree. Do we need to stop anywhere and keep Sigrid dry, mate? Uh, she's all right right now. That was an interesting one, mate. <laughs> Coming out of it now. Hmm. Coming out of it now. Well. Yeah, it's up to you. Do you win? Should we get a little bit of shade? She's okay. Well, she okay? Yeah, she's okay right now. Did you see the scooter there? No. The scooter was, as we were turning this side of the bollard, the scooter was going to go uh, past. So I had to there. Uh, so we're uh, going to go on this pavement. Right go on, here, mate, so after you. Thought he was coming out there. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the situation with? Uh, I know the cycle lanes are obviously one directional cycle lanes. Mm -hmm. um, do people often use them in the wrong direction? And um, are there any bi-directional cycle lanes that cause problems on your little area that you use, Travis? I haven't seen many. No. Okay. Um, You'll remember there was like a hairy intersection back there where we crossed the road yes. and then crossed again and took a right. Yeah. I often see people skip that little jig to the left. Yeah. And we'll just take go the oncoming cycle lane to yeah. miss that part. Yeah. Watch the Jaguar approaching from behind. That's a bit naughty, Travis. Minor turning left as well. What's that? That was a bit naughty. They came oh, really, yeah. they came really close and they're turning left. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, aside from that one little bit right there, that, like I said, we just rode through. Yeah. Uh, normally, I don't see a lot of long, wrong way cyclists, or, or I think they call them in America uh, salmoning. Yes. You know, if they're going upstream. I don't yeah. see that too often. Okay. Um, we are starting to get more. Um, we're going to take a ride up here, so we'll, okay. just, we'll just wait behind these guys, I guess. I've started to see more uh, contraflow cycling lanes here. Yes. So um, they seem to work out fine when people are fly, but as we saw in my court thing, not everyone is not everyone's the same. tolerant to that. Yeah. I'll tell you what has been nice today as well for me as well, Travis, is to ride in a two. I'm usually out on my own, oh, on yeah. my bike. It's nice and I've seen different <laughs> bits and bobs that you've looked out for me. 
Yeah. <laughs> We're going in this central bit, so I'll be slow. And it's nice to look out sort of like for each other when you're riding in a pair, isn't it? Yeah, let's do yeah. it, let's do it. Watch this scooter, Travis. I thought he was going to dive in front of you there, mate. <laughs> oh, well. Is he going to go? Oh, yeah. We'll just let him go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Cracking decision, that, mate. What's that? Cracking yeah. decision. I never want to ride next to those guys. No, but... absolutely not. I mean, it's nice, nice to get in front of them if you can squeeze through, but then... That's the thing, it's one of the light changes. You gotta be, you gotta give up the race. Correct, go. correct. When they're stationary, it's not so bad, yeah. but it's when they start to move. And yeah. have you ever, I don't know whether you've ever driven, have you ever driven a big lorry like that? Uh, years and years ago, I used to work in a, a diesel shop for a logging company. Okay. So I've driven some of those, but not, you know, not in the city or anything like that. I, I passed my lorry license a year and a bit ago. Okay. And I'm glad I did because now I've got an appreciation for how much you have to keep your yeah. eyes out yeah, and down sure. the sides for and sure. tail swing and people say there aren't blind spots and blind spots are just an excuse for motorists <laughs> not looking properly and i can ca categorically say that that's not the case with these things yeah with sure. with a car probably yes must be free or something yeah watch this lorry as well mate remember even on a bicycle you can make things a non-event Keep safe everyone, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.